Hey everybody, and welcome to Poppy's Cucina. Yay! And we're outside, isn't that fun? Fun. <laughs> Today we're doing a very simple, easy dessert that is so yummy, scream summer, and it cooked a lot faster than I thought it was going to. Today we're making a coconut custard pie. But think less custard, more coconutty, densey kind of yumminess. Yeah, I know Lulu's ready, right? Yeah. All right, but before we show you how to make it, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like our videos, okay? All right, now keep watching. To start, you're gonna eat some coconut. So here I have some shredded sweetened coconut uh, flakes. Um, you can use unsweetened, you can use uh, fresh coconut, whatever you want. <laughs> I was being lazy, so I bought the sweetened, you know, shredded already. But you're going to want to toast it. So we're going to put this in a uh, preheated 375 degree oven for just about five minutes, just till the edges start to get nice and toasty. It'll really bring out the coconut flavor. So next, in a large bowl, you're going to want to add four large eggs, a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, half a cup of milk. You could substitute heavy cream if you want. That'll make it much, much richer. But... We're just going to do regular milk here, and then four teaspoons, uh, four tablespoons. I'm sorry, of melted salted butter. You can use unsalted, but then if you're going to do that, you're going to add half a teaspoon of salt. Now you're going to whisk this together. Next, you're going to add half a cup of all-purpose flour, half a cup of packed brown sugar, and a quarter cup of granulated sugar. It's in there, just kind of sunk to the bottom. <laughs> All right, but now you're going to whisk, whisk this together. While we're waiting for the coconut to toast that we're gonna to add to our mixture, we're gonna set up our pie plate. One uh, little trick I like to do is I like to spray this with a non-stick cooking spray before I put my pie crust down. Could make your own pie crust, that would be great, but hey, I bought a store-bought one. All right, so let's set that up. Our crust is ready to go. Our shredded coconut's ready to go. So into the batter, it's gonna go. <laughs> so our pie is officially ready for the oven. So you're gonna place this in a preheated 375 degree oven for about 50 minutes to an hour. Um, in case the edges of your crust starts getting a little bit dark, if you have a pie shield, you put that over there on top or just put some foil around the edges. All right, so, but into the oven, it's gonna go. So I just pulled it out of the oven. Totally misjudged the time. It took 35 minutes. I'm so glad I was keeping an eye on it, but woohoo, 35 minute pie. That's fantastic. <laughs> um, and I also ended up putting the pie shield around it because the crust started getting a little dark. All right, so now we're gonna let this cool for a couple hours before we try it. <gasps> Looks so good. Can't wait. All right, so I've allowed this to cool for a couple hours. That crust fell off, sad. <laughs> but let's see how this tastes. Look how thick that looks. You see that? Mmm. Mmm. All right. It's very chewy. It's very dense. The addition of the flour makes it less eggy. And more like a very thick custard, almost slash cake. But the addition of the brown sugar makes it taste like caramel, toasted coconut, the vanilla. Oh, so tasty. 35 minutes in the oven. Perfect summertime dessert or anytime. So if you make this, let us know. So delicious. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Now all whipped cream. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Poppy's Cucina. Thanks!